Okay, good day. This is MC Squared Coaching Center. Magandang araw. So, this is Algebra Part 2. Continuation po natin ng discussion natin about Engineering Board Exam Frequently Asked Questions. Okay, so, so I'm Engineer Melvin John H. Banzuelo. So, let's start. Problem number one, dito po sa Algebra Part 2, the tenth digit of a number is 3 less than the unit's digit. If the number is divided by the sum of the digits, the quotient is 4 and the remainder is 3. What is the original number? Okay, basahin ko ulit. The tenth digit of a number is 3 less than the unit's digit. If the number is divided by the sum of the digits, the quotient is 4 and the remainder is 3. What is the original number? So, sabi sa problem, the tens digit of a number, the tens digit of a number is 3 less than. So, sa mga number na to, ito po yung tens digit and ito din yung units digit. And ang sabi dito, the tens digit of a number is 3 less than the units digit. So, dapat mas malaki po yung units digit kumpara sa tens digit. Sa letter A, mas malaki nga ng 3 si units digit kumpara kay tens digit. So, dito satisfy yung tens digit of a number is 3 less than the units digit. Possible answer po si letter A. Sa letter B naman, correct din because the difference between the the tens digit, the units digit and the tens, di tens digit is 3. And sabi sa problem, the tens digit of a number is 3 less than the unit digit. Okay, 3 less than the unit digit. So, possible answer po, si A at saka si B. Si letter C, 74, although yung difference ng tens at saka unit digit is still 3, but hindi po nagsatisfy sa first condition ng problem natin. Kasi yung first condition, the tens digit of a number is 3 less than the unit digit. Ito po siya. 3 less than. Yung 10th digit daw dapat is 3 less than the units digit. Dito po sa letter C is 3 more than the units digit. So therefore, eliminate na po natin si letter C. Okay? So, hindi na po magiging sagot si letter C. Then, proceed na po tayo kay letter D. Kay letter D, ganun din. Mas malaki si 10th digit kumpara kay units digit. Nang sabi sa problem, dapat na mas maliit si 10th digit. Kasi the 10th digit of a number is 3 less than the units digit. So therefore, mali din po si letter D. Dapat mas maliit si 10th digit ng 3 compared kay, kay units digit. So eliminate na rin natin po si letter D. So, sa actual board exam class, pag tinatamad kayo, meron na lang kayong dalawang pagpipilian dito sa problem na to. And that is letter A at saka letter B. Pag tinatamad kayo, pwede nang maghula-hulaan na lang ninyo sa dalawa alin yung sagot, e letter A ba or letter B. At least, meron kang 50% chance of passing, of getting the correct answer. Alike kanina na apat yung choices, you have 25% chance of getting the correct answer. Now, in this problem class, tapos na tayo sa first statement ng problem. It's a first statement ng problem, the tenth digit of a number is 3 less than the unit's digit, satisfy si letter A, and then satisfy din si letter B. Next statement, if the number is divided by the sum of the digits, kukunin muna natin yung sum of the digits. So, 4 plus 7, that is 11, yan po yung sum of digit ng letter A, and then 3 plus 6. That is 9. Okay, ha? 4 plus 7, 11. 3 plus 6, that is 9. So, if the number is divided by the sum of the digits, the quotient is 4 and the remainder is 3. What is the original number? So, itong letter A or B, 47 or 36, possible original number. So, before natin makuha, paano makuha natin yung sagot? I follow natin yung sinasabi sa condition na to. The number is divided by the sum of the digits. So, ibig sabihin yung class, 47 divided by 11, 36 divided by 9. Kung sino man sa dalawang division na to, o makapagbibigay ng quotient na 4, remainder na 3, then therefore, yun po yung correct answer. I-try po natin si letter A. 
And po siya. Si letter A, 47 divided by 11. Ito yung number divided by the sum of its digit. 47 divided by 11. Ito lang din yung i-type natin sa calculator class. 47 divided by 11 and then press equal. Again, yung calculator na ginagamit ko po is Casio FX570. Okay? ES. So, 47 divided by 11, that is 4, 4, 3 over 11. Sa calculator class, ito pa rin yung lalabas. Paano ba ang 47 over 11 maging mixed form na fraction? So, ang ipipindutin lang natin sa calculator class is ito. So, ayan po, 47 divided by 11, unang lalabas yung class is 47 over 11. Para makuha natin yung ganitong forma class, ito, parehas nito, shift SD lang po tayo. Okay? Originally, 47 over 11 nakalagay dyan. And then, para maging 4, 3 over 11, shift SD lang po tayo. Sa ganitong forma class, ito po yung quotient and ito yung remainder. Again, ito po yung quotient and ito po yung remainder. Okay? So, again, tandaan sa ganitong forma sa mixed fraction. Sa mixed fraction, ito po yung itong 4. Itong 4 na to, ito po yung quotient. Itong 3 na naman to, ito po yung remainder. Yan po yung remainder. Okay? Yan po yung remainder. So, from the problem, satisfy ba? Sa problem, 3, remainder is 3. Yan po siya. Then, quotient is 4. So, nakuha na ba yung tamang sagot? And, base sa na-solve natin, nakuha na po yung sagot. That is letter A. Okay? So, itry, itry na lang din natin sa letter B. 36 divided by 9, that is 4. Satisfy po na 4, quotient is 4, pero remainder dito is, remainder dito class is what? Remainder is 0, okay, in this problem. So, therefore, the correct answer here in problem number 1 is letter, letter A. Okay, si letter, letter A. Again, class, tandaan. Sa mga ganitong forma, ito po yung quotient and ito po yung remainder. Okay? So, shift SD lang po sa calculator. Problem number 2. A man left one half of his estate. Estate that is kayamanan. A man left one half of his estate to his wife, one six to his daughter, and the remainder an amount of 15,000 US dollar to his son. How large was the entire state? Okay. A man left one half of his estate to his wife, one six to his daughter, and the remainder an amount of 15,000 US dollar to his son. How large was the entire state? So let X be the amount of entire state. So therefore, one half of that entire state going to his wife and one six to his daughter. So ganito po siya yung equation. Ito po yung for wife. Ito yung for daughter, ito yung son. So, pag i-add natin yan, equals po yan ng total estate natin. Okay? Yung x over 2, yan po yung 1 half. Okay? 1 half for his wife. And then, yung x over 6, yan po yung 1 six sa daughter. And yung 15,000, yan po yung 15,000 sa, sa son niya po. And then, itong, itong x, ito yung total estate. Okay? Total estate po yung x. So, type natin ganito sa calculator. Type sa calculator x over 2 plus x over 6 plus 15,000 equals x. And then, after natin yung matype sa calculator, press shift and then calc. Okay? Shift calc. And then, magsasabi siya solve for x. And after so, magsabi siya ng solve for x, press equal. And then, ang lalabas na sagot is letter letter A. So, ang lalabas sa calculator is X equals to 45,000. Okay? X equals to 45,000. So, again, ang ilet natin ang X as the total amount of entire state. Okay? Entire state po yung X. And then, uh, yung one half sa state niya, yan po siya. Since this is the entire state, so that is x over 2 or 1 half of x, 1 half of the entire state, 1 six sa daughter, and then yung 15,000, ito po yung sa son. So, wife, son, and daughter equals total estate ni, ni man. So, ganito yung ita-type sa calculator, and then 
Pag type mo na ganito sa calculator, usually sa calculator, malaki itong X. After mo matype na ganito sa calculator, press ka ng shift and then press ka ng calc. After mo na mag-press ng shift at saka calc, lalabas sa calculator na ka-display na solve for X. And pag nakita mo na yung solve for X, press ka lang kaagad na equal na sign. Then therefore, lalabas siya X equals to 45,000 or that is or letter letter A. Okay, so this is problem number three, and this problem number three is a motion problem, and this is still part of algebra part two. Melvin starts walking along a road at three miles per hour. Two hours later, Chick starts in the same direction at 3.5 miles per hour. How far from the starting point will Chick's overtake Melvin? Okay, Melvin starts walking along a road at 3 miles per hour. Two hours later, Chick starts in the same direction at 3.5 miles per hour. How far from the starting point will Chick's overtake Melvin? Sa mga motion problem class, the best way to solve is gamit tayo ng table. Sa table, meron tayong three columns na may D, R, and T. D means distance, R as the rate or the speed, and T as the time. And from the problem, Melvin starts walking along a road at 3 miles per hour. Ito yung rate ni Melvin. And then 2 hours later, Chick starts at the same, in the same direction at 3.5 miles per hour. So, take note, nag-start lang si Chicks 2 hours later. Ibig sabihin, nakatravel na si Melvin ng 2 hours before nag-start si, si Chicks. So, therefore, ang time, ito yung travel ni Melvin na siya lang mag-isa. That's the time T na nag-start ng travel si, si Chicks. Okay? So, kaya kay Melvin, 2 plus T yung time. And then, yung kay Chicks, T yung time niya. Remember, that sa motion, D equals to RT. So therefore, the total distance traveled by Melvin is 3 times 2 plus T. And the total distance traveled by Chicks that is 3.5 times times T. So, yan na po siya. Yan po siya. Ang um, distance traveled by Melvin, 3 times 2 plus T. From here, 3 times 2 plus T. And then from Chicks, 3.5 times T. Okay? So remember, that is D equals to RT. That is distance equals to rate times time. And distance traveled by Melvin is D uh, 3 times 2 plus T. And the distance traveled by Chicks is 3.5 T. Equal po yung distance kasi na-overtake po ni Chicks si Melvin. So in order para ma-overtake, dapat mag-equal yung total distance traveled nila. Dalawa. So ganito class, pwede mo na itong i-type directly sa calculator. The problem is wala pong T sa calculator. Instead of using T, ang gagamitin natin sa calculator is X. So, ganito po yung pagta-type natin sa calculator. Pwede natin i-copy. And then, pag na-type na natin po ng ganitong forma sa calculator, press shift cut. And then, pag shift cut, magsasabi siya ng solve for X. Then, after natin nakita ang solve for X na display sa calculator, then press equal. Pag press po natin ng equal, lalabas po X equals to 12 hours or the time traveled by chicks is 12 hours and the time traveled by Melvin is 14 hours. So, ayan. And the total distance traveled by chicks that is 3.5 T or 3.5 X. Ito kasi yung tinatanong, how far from the starting point will chicks overtake Melvin? So, in order for to solve the distance traveled, that is rate times time, that's the rate of chicks times time 12 hours, 3.5 times 12 and that is 42 miles. And that is letter, letter B. Okay? So, every time we encounter a motion problem, gawin lang po natin, gawa tayo ng table na may D as distance, rate as the rate or the speed of the object, and T as the, as the time. Okay? So, the correct answer here is letter B, that is 42 miles. Okay, that's all for Algebra Part 2. Thank you for watching. And I hope you learn, yeah, you learn something. And I hope din po, klaro po yung pagkaka-solve ko po. So again, kung napansin ninyo, ang solution ko po dito is all shortcuts or the easiest way for me 
Pero if may mga iba kayong solution na gusto nyo i-consult sa akin, pwede nyo po akong i-message po sa messenger. Type nyo lang po yung name ko at makikita nyo po ako sa messenger. And then again po class, if may tanong, message lang. And if may feedback, uh, any feedback, positive or negative, just message lang. Huwag mag mahiyang mag-message po. Again, thank you for watching and please don't uh, forget to click subscribe. Click po natin yung subscribe para sa pag mag-upload po ako ng video ulit, ma-update -ma po kayo. Okay? So again, thank you. And our next topic is Algebra Part 3. Thank you and have a nice day.